Now we have to start making the uh, general arrangement uh, since we have everything together here. And to do that, I'm just going to flip over to uh, Make Drawing from Assembly and um, just get a, uh, a drawing border going. Usually you have all your drawing borders set up uh, before you start. I'll just use a standard one here. So we'll go into, uh, let's say, just a, a B size. Uh, using a lot of times uh, nowadays, uh, B size is becoming uh, a standard kind of engineering drawing for uh, for mechanical drafting. The it used to be a D size drawing that uh, in the days of uh, pencil and pen drafting, but now you can show the same amount of information easily with the modern printers uh, on a B size drawing. So. Uh, the B size has uh, come to the forefront. So I'm just going to plop uh, my first view on here, see how it fits. Uh, the scale is automatically uh, set up at first so that you can uh, just get an idea for where the uh, views are going to go. Uh, the thing is, the scale should not be so small that you can't see uh, the item that you're you're laying down you still need to be s able to see all the components and so I'll just plop these three views down here and just to see how they look they to me they look a little a uh, little too detailed a little uh, too a little too busy so uh, we want to make sure that uh, they're easy to read and for a GA you don't really need to see everything uh, in, uh, in in huge detail uh, what we're going to do is uh, adjust the view a little bit so uh, it looks a little bit easier to see. The We'll just set the display uh, initially with uh, tangent edges removed and uh, if we turn off the hidden lines we should get a little cleaner view uh, that doesn't have quite so many lines so that doesn't look too bad the operative thing is we want to be able to have everything showing, uh, be able to identify everything. So if we just uh, uh, put some uh, uh, some balloons on here, let's just uh, balloon the first view, and we'll see if we can get this to uh, adjust these balloons. Okay. So we've got all the items identified and the next thing we need in this GA is a bill of material so I'm going to go ahead and insert that because it'll help guide me through the creation of all the details so we we'll just uh, plonk in the bill of material you have to select a view at first and then just insert the bill I've already gone ahead and put some descriptions in here but uh, they're not necessarily the descriptions I want I may end up using so with the bill the description is a very very important thing um, but uh, I would prefer uh, to use something other than the part number here I'm going to insert column to the left and I'm going to use my custom property called part number to record the drawing numbers for each of the details and the purchased items. Now the purchase items aren't necessarily going to have a drawing number but things like the table weldment and the uh, uh, and some of the other manufactured items will have. So if we start with this first view here The automatic ballooning doesn't always pick up the view where it should be. Let's just put another balloon in here and make it uh, and make it point to a more obvious location for the table. And I'll just get rid of that one that's pointing to the foot because it doesn't really help too much. And that's item one. And typically, when you're doing a, a GA, you're, you're going to go through, uh, identify, make sure each item is identified properly. So there's. Uh, item one, let's just make sure in the bill of material that it's uh, identified properly. It's the blower table weldment 
and uh, it already I've already given it a drawing number which is fine and if I look down the bill of material here the rest of the items appear to be all purchased uh, electric motor uh, the slide base uh, the blower the expansion joint um, all of this uh, there is a fabricated elbow so there's another detail there which will need a drawing number uh, but uh, the T the pressure relief valve the shivs and the V-belt. Uh, there's also a check valve there which needs a description. All the rest are purchased items. So there's only really two items here I need to make details for. But everything has to be identified. Um, the This number two here is uh, uh, pointing to, just to see what that points to, that's supposed to be the motor. It appears to be uh, pointing to the sh identifying the shiv more than anything else. So I'm going to adjust that a little bit. Let's just put another um, Let's put uh, replace that balloon and make sure it shows the motor uh, That's better there. So uh, Carrying on it's the same kind of thing. Just making sure each of the uh, Balloons are pointing to the right items. So is there as we look in here? We don't see item three so we identify what that is and see if we can add that in. Now as you come to certain items not showing up, it may mean that you're going to have to make another view. So in this case it's the slide base for the motor and the that I can see. So I can pick up the slide base here and identify that clearly and I've made sure I've got that. Now the next thing is uh, dimensions for the uh, uh, the GA. Y GA you would normally have overall dimensions because what people are looking for uh, is how much space this machine is going to occupy. Uh, for example, what's the overall height? That's quite important. So we can put in the overall height from uh, from the very bottom to the very top and tell uh, the, uh, what that dimension is. You see here it's three decimal places. That wouldn't be necessary in a, in a GA just for overall dimensions. So we'd go in and change that to something a little bit more um, to inches. And fractions with a 32, uh, one thirty-second of an inch minimum or, or maximum uh, size and round to the nearest fraction. Let's just set that up. There we go. So uh, you see 330 seconds. We I've, I made the stack size 70% smaller than the actual dimension to make it and gave it a diagonal. Uh, just That's just my preferred way of doing my dimensions. And uh, then that gives us something that we can use for our overall dimensions. So let's just take this we need an overall length, and that's pretty easy to pick up if we go from one leg to the other and uh, bring that down here. And we need an overall width, so probably the easiest way to pick that up is down in this view here and get an overall width. just work through things and then you start looking at other parts of the uh, uh, GA to see if there's other any other uh, overall dimensions that would be important uh, perhaps one of the uh, one dimension that would uh, you really need is the centerline dimension for this uh, this pipe down here if I uh, just insert uh, some center lines in here so I can uh, measure this properly. Let's just get that going. And one thing I'd like to know is if they're going to be hooking up pipes to this, then they'd want to know what the center line from the floor is. So that would be important. So we'll just put that in. And if possible, seeing this is a horrible dimension here, 11 and 19 30 seconds would be really really a pain to measure in the field uh, so if there's any way at all that we could make this 12 inches uh, that would be that would be much better so 
again, the GA gives you, uh, it keys you into things that, um, uh, that would be more helpful in the field. Uh, the, the, in order to get that 12 inches, we might have to shorten this um, uh, fabricated elbow a little bit uh, to, to, uh, to accomplish that. Then we could just take a look at some of the other dimensions that we might need. Uh, we might want to identify the height of the motor center line from the and again we've got uh, kind of an awful dimension, but uh, to some degree that's uh, we can we can. Uh, in the field, we'd probably use shims to get that to, to something like a more sensible dimension. And we could probably make that ten and a quarter or something like that. Another uh, important dimension in this one would be the center to center dimension because that's going to help us figure out uh, what size of belt we're going to use. So we should show that. And uh, see if I can get that... Uh, center to center dimension there and we need to tell them it's a center to dimension make it more specific so I'll just use an abbreviation here for center to center and that would tell them exactly help them along with the diameter of those uh, shivs would help them figure out exactly what size belt they need although we are going to have to figure out what that is when we uh, go through and uh, specify uh, that item as a purchased item. So we, we'll, we'll have to figure out the belt length anyway. Then the uh, same thing, we just go through and put in dimensions which are overall, overall dimensions which, were, which would benefit the assembly. You don't want to start dimensioning uh, every leg and every gusset and uh, every single component in the GA. That's what the details are for.